The gaming capability of consumers, all levels of consumers, is becoming more and more important each year. Whether you're the hardcore gamer, a mainstream gamer, or even a, a casual gamer who maybe is your primary usage model isn't games, but you like to play games. Uh, at the very high end of the spectrum, uh, we recommend discrete graphics, and even if you're really a, the hardest core gamer, discrete graphics with Crossfire X using multiple graphics cards. Now for the casual gamer, this market is exploding. Uh, Microsoft says that 83% of Windows users play games, and at the latest Game Developers Conference, one of the big buzzes around that show was the growth in casual gaming. And we believe that at all price points, gamers or people who like to play games should have the best experience possible at every price point. And with the RS-780 chipset, with the Puma, uh, and all of our desktop platforms, we deliver just that. The world's first DX10 mainstream gaming platform. Now, before we get into the demonstrations, I want to point out these are similarly configured mainstream systems at the same price point. Probably the only major difference here is we have the AMD triple core processor. But of course, we couldn't compare that to an Intel comparable because Intel doesn't have a triple core processor. But as you can see, very equal configurations. Let's take a look at World in Conflict, a very popular real-time strategy game out there. And the thing that I'd like you to look for is the frame rate difference between the AMD PC and the Intel PC. And as you'll see at the end, the AMD PC has a six-time advantage over the Intel PC. 44 frames per second on average versus seven. And you can consider anything less than 30 or 25 frames a second is unplayable. So imagine people are going out, unbeknownst to them, buying a system from AMD and Intel, and there is a huge experiential difference between the two PCs. So let's take a look at Crisis, the award-winning, one of the most anticipated games of the entire year and a bestseller. Now, I, I want to start off by saying AMD recommends that you play Crisis on a discrete solution, but we're, we just want to show you how Crisis does run on the integrated platform to show you the quality difference with a DX10 versus DX9 configuration. With the AMD PC running at full DX10, the quality of the water, the trees, the sand, and the rocks is a step above the Intel PC. And also, take a look at the frame rate difference between the two as well. Five months ago when we did these videos, we took a look at the experiential difference on Sims with AMD platform versus an Intel platform. And I think many of you remember uh, how much better the AMD experience was. Well, the question is five months later, with the latest and greatest platforms, is the experience any better? Well, let's take a look. And right here, you can see that the quality has actually gone up on the AMD platform. In fact, this is it, the highest resolution you could go in the game with the anti-aliasing on, anti-aliasing basically a fancy way of taking out the jaggies when you look at the, uh, the straight lines here, and the reflections are crisper and clear. Now this is exactly how the artist wanted this scene to look. So let's take a look at Intel's advancement over the last five months on the world's most popular game. And as you can plainly see, the water is still featureless and not transparent. Looks a little bit like PowerPoint water. And as you go in and you look at the textures, even closer, let's say on the mountainside, they're not exactly what the artist intended. And finally, when you look at the, the straight lines, jaggies uh, are abound. Uh, now, we believe at AMD that end users deserve a much better experience on mainstream casual games than this. 
I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully it's apparent by the demonstrations we provided that AMD is very, very interested in delivering the best experience for the consumer, not just for the enthusiast, but also for the mainstream consumer. And those mainstream consumers are particularly interested in gameplay, uh, in video, and a great multitasking experience. But don't just take our word for it. Go out and try it on your own. Uh, load the software up on the systems. Ask your friends. Read reviews. It'll say the same thing, that AMD delivers a better experience for the consumer.